Hello, rising freshmen. Welcome to your presentation on course selection at Farmington High School. As current eighth grade students, you will have several exciting opportunities and options available to you as you begin to select your courses for this upcoming school year. You may feel excited or nervous or not sure what to expect. Most importantly, try not to stress. You will have support for every decision you will be making for your freshman year. To access Farmington High School's full program of studies, please visit the FHS Program of Studies website. In accordance with Farmington Public Schools' vision of the global citizen, students will choose an intellectually challenging course load throughout high school, which will enable all students to become self-aware individuals, empowered learners, disciplined thinkers, engaged collaborators, and civic-minded contributors, reaching global standards of achievement, leadership, and citizenship upon graduation. Let's get started. There are two types of courses at Farmington High School, required courses and elective courses. Required courses are classes you need in order to graduate from Farmington High School. These are courses like English, Math, and Science. Elective courses are classes you get to choose based upon your interests. At Irving Robbins, some of your elective options were Latin, Band, Chorus, or Orchestra. You have many more elective options at Farmington High School, but we encourage you to first understand and know your required courses. A traditional ninth grade schedule includes the following required courses. One credit of English. All ninth graders will take English 100 honors. One credit of math following the math sequence that you are currently enrolled, one credit of science, either physics college prep or physics honors, one credit of social studies, all ninth graders will take world history one honors, one credit of world language, following the world language sequence that you are currently enrolled, a half a credit of physical education and wellness, all ninth graders will take wellness nine, and finally, one to two elective credits of your choice. Let's talk more about what electives are available in ninth grade. Again, an elective is a course that you get to choose. At Farmington High School, there are many electives to choose from, including courses in art, business, English, music, science, technology, and even world language if you'd like to select a second language to study, as well as many more options. Ninth grade music electives are also available to all students. If you are not currently taking music at Irving Robbins, but are interested in doing so at Farmington High School next year, please email Mr. Quinn, the FHS Music Department Leader. Additionally, and important to note, when you request electives in PowerSchool, you will also be asked to select an alternative or backup elective course. You are never guaranteed your first choice, so it is important to find a second or third choice elective just in case. Lastly, we will be hosting an elective fair in January where Farmington High School teachers will be available during one of your school days to answer any questions you may have about high school elective course options. Farmington High School also offers a unique elective called AVID, which stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. This is a college preparatory program designed to support students in the academic middle. A typical AVID student is one who exhibits academic potential, may be the first in their family to attend college, and demonstrates willingness and determination to enhance one's academic standing. Students participate in college field trips and learn each year about colleges and careers. AVID students also learn effective study and organizational strategies and prepare for college and career with the support of the AVID counselor. Interested 8th graders should see their school counselor to learn more about the application process. Let's talk about the different course levels at Farmington High School. There are college preparation classes, also known as college prep or CP classes. There are honors classes, designated with an H in the title of the course. There are also advanced placement classes, dual enrollment classes, and UConn Early College Experience classes. These courses offer opportunities for students to potentially earn college credit while still in high school. You might be wondering, what level class should I take? 
As I mentioned earlier, your math, science, and world language teachers will recommend the level in the course that fits you best for next year. You will see these recommended courses in PowerSchool under Course Recommendations, and when you go to request your courses under the Course Registration tab. A reminder that all ninth grade students will take English 100 Honors and World History 1 Honors. It is also important to keep in mind that the level you have been recommended for is not set in stone for the rest of high school. Teachers make recommendations each year. If you would like to take an honors class in the future, keep working hard and you may be recommended for honors in the future. The most important thing is that you have a successful transition to high school with the classes that fit you best. If you have any questions about a teacher's recommendation, you and your parent slash guardian should contact your Irving Robbins teacher and school counselor to discuss this further. In order to graduate from Farmington High School, you will be required to earn a total of 25 credits. Every course has a credit assigned to it, which acknowledges successful completion of the course. Students who successfully complete a year-long course earn one credit. Students who successfully complete a semester-long or half-year course earns half a credit. This includes a wellness class, for example. Credit is earned when students earn passing grades and attend class each day. You will need to earn nine credits in both the humanities and the STEM content areas. In the physical education and wellness content area, you'll be required to earn one credit of physical education and one credit of health and wellness education. You will also be required to take at least one credit of a world language and pass the Farmington Language Standards Test, or FLST. All students are additionally required to earn one Vision of the Global Citizen Exhibition of Learning credit. Students will have two options for completing this requirement. Students may enroll in either an Aspire or a Capstone Honors course, which are typically taken during your junior or senior year. Lastly, students will be required to earn three additional elective credits in any department beyond the aforementioned requirements to earn the minimum 25 credits for graduation. You are required to take a minimum of 6.5 credits and a maximum of 7.5 credits each year. Please note that 5.5 of these credits are required courses that we have already discussed. The remaining credits can be used for electives. Please be sure to request alternative electives in PowerSchool. It is always important to talk with your family, your school counselor, and your teachers about how many credit hours you could sign up for. If you enjoy having a study hall in your schedule because you are often busy after school with extracurriculars, then we recommend you plan for that in ninth grade too. If you successfully complete the minimum required 6.5 credits each year of high school, then you'll easily exceed the required 25 credits needed for graduation. Every freshman at Farmington High School also participates in a freshman seminar series with their school counselor. You will learn more about these lessons at the beginning of the school year. The topics include an introduction to Farmington High School, how to use your email, how to use PowerSchool and Naviance, in addition to resources available to you and where you can find help. You will also complete various personality and interest assessments in Naviance. Freshman Seminar is a great opportunity to get to know your school counselor, someone who will be a great advocate for you throughout your time at Farmington High School. By visiting our Farmington High School Program and Studies website, you'll have access to many additional resources to use while researching and selecting your courses for next year, including course descriptions, course leveling information, college credit opportunities, career exploration, and pathway resources. We encourage all students, parents, and guardians to spend some time familiarizing themselves with the Farmington High School Program and Studies website. You can find the Program and Studies website by navigating to sites.google.com slash fpsct.org slash FHS Program of Studies or by visiting the FHS homepage on fpsct.org. You can use the Program of Studies to look up courses that you are required to take, electives that you may be interested in, and their course descriptions. Next to each course title will be important information such as, is the course a full year or half year course? Is it a college prep, honors, advanced placement, or dual enrollment course? How many credits can be earned from taking the course? 
what grade you must be in to take the course, and whether or not there are any prerequisite courses, such as a course you need to take first. Doing this exploration and research also helps you plan ahead for future course selections. Here are some next steps. Please review the program of studies with your parents and guardians. Please review course recommendations in PowerSchool from your teachers, and if necessary, contact your teachers with any questions you or your parents or guardians might have. Stay tuned for upcoming information sessions for elective courses. Parents and guardians are also invited to attend the 8th grade parent night later in January. You will receive an email when PowerSchool is open to request courses. It is important that you pay close attention to this email as PowerSchool is only open for a short period of time and all students must request courses for next year by mid-February. And lastly, please make sure you are making thoughtful choices based upon your future interests and ambitions. If you have any further questions about the program of studies, graduation requirements, or the course selection process, please speak with your school counselor. If you have any questions about specific courses or the recommendation you have received, please contact your teacher. We are here to help. Thank you and best wishes for a great rest of your school year.